Let me see coming in our next fight, Nestor Garcia from Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. Up here, Razo, Golden Boy matchmaker with a towel around him. Upset about his Rams. Still shows up to work. That's a professional. There he is, coming into Ramon Ayala's Un Rinconcito en el Cielo. Virgil Ortiz, Grand Prairie, Texas, which is near Dallas. He's 2-0, two, two KOs, now training with Tonio Diaz in Indio, managed by Joel Diaz. And Joel Diaz, best known for training the Desert Storm, Tim Bradley in another life, has a very deep and talented roster of young fighters. He believes Virgil Ortiz is as blue a chip as he has he is a natural born puncher. Good. Joe Martinez is ready to go, Joe. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the next pound tonight, four rounds, this in the super lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing red, trimmed in black, he weighed it officially 139 and one half pounds. He makes his second appearance in the ring tonight as a professional from Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. Here is Nestor Garcia. His opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black, trimmed in silver, weighed in also 139 and one half pounds. In two professional bouts, he has two victories. Both wins coming by way of knockout from Dallas, Texas. Here is the undefeated Virgil Ortiz Jr. And your referee in charge of the action is Eddie Hernandez. All right, listen, gloves. Tell them I've been over the rules with you both. You know what I expect? Touch gloves. Good luck. Eddie Hernandez, third man in the ring tonight for our third fight. Tell of the tape, Steve Kim. And what really stands out about Virgil Ortiz is his size, tall, lanky puncher. Has that classic puncher's build. Virgil Ortiz in the black trunks, a fighter go, and then boy really high on. His last bout was at Cowboy Stadium in the Canelo undercard. Had a chance to fight home and took advantage of it. He's 2-0, two KOs. This is a fighter who was homeschooled, actually went to Grand Prairie High School. Missed a lot of school because of going to some of the big time national tournaments. Still an honor roll student, ran cross country, four, sub five minute mile. Still goes after it. Splitting time between Indio and Grand Prairie. Goes back there after a fight for a week. And he comes back with Joel living in a house with a bunch of the other fighters in the Joel Diaz management group. Get some great sparring with some of the best around in the Coachella Valley. Some of the other names that are in that group, I guess you call them a boxing fraternity, would be Louis Correa. Yep. Certainly a bright young prospect with a big left hook. Cesar Diaz, skilled all-around fighter. One thing you notice about Ortiz immediately outside the size and the frame, does a nice job of keeping his hands up in a nice defensive posture. Does a nice job of blocking and deflecting. Does a lot of catch and countering, as you notice. Not a lot of head movement. He's not going to slip and counter, but he's going to catch, deflect, and then shoot back his own punches. Ortiz plays the guitar, self-taught guitar. If Doug Fisher was here, he'd love this. His favorite song that he can play, Fade to Black Metallica. Mm. Self-taught, he's a YouTube musician. A lot of people watching back home in the Dallas area. Grandmother Francis Mela supports him a lot, watching also. Really focused fighter. Talking with Joel, he's like one of the kids that just you just know he's going to do the work. You don't no, have to worry about him. But uh, we were here for his pro debut July 30th in this very same venue. Now, that was a very short, explosive fight. He just kind of stood out, though. Yeah. Didn't look like an amp, uh, a kid making his pro debut. Another thing I like about Ortiz, look at the angle of his head and his chin, how down it is. Now, this is a kid that was very well taught from the beginning, fundamentally. 
Started boxing. His dad, Virgil, took him to the gym. And it is V-E-R-G-I-L. Good hook by Ortiz. Winking punches from Nestor Garcia from Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. Upstairs, good combo. Stocking his opponent, Ortiz. You see, you see the eyes, and oh, there he goes jab. down. And that was a jab a that stiff caught. One, huh? Right, it caught Garcia coming straight in. And I don't know if he's getting up from that one. Eyes are closed, and it is over. A first round KO for Virgil Ortiz. He's now 3 0 with three KOs. Beto, just as it seemed though, we're gonna see a milestone. Virgil Ortiz in round number two. Garcia got caught coming in, and it looked like a jab that was turned into a short hook. Wow, that's exactly what it was. Kind of a half jab, half hook. He does a nice job of stepping back a half step and just shooting back from the front side. Punchers are born, they are not made, Beto. I like to say, and look at that damage already. And that was from what, two and a half minutes of work from Virgil Ortiz, who now moves to three and zero. Nestor Garcia, 27 years old, game, but wow, he felt the, the power, oh, yeah, like a little bit of a hook, yeah. kind of? You know, a lot of Russian fighters will throw it like that. It, it starts off as a jab, but at the very end, if you could twist the elbow, it does become a bit of a hook. Boy, Joel Diaz is dressed for the occasion here. Look at that. Yeah, he's uh, working HBO Latino tonight. He's a well-dressed man. Love Grandma. Shark dress man, huh? It is. So I think Virgil Ortiz, 2017, Beto, is certainly a young kid I'd like to see more of. Three up, three down, has not seen round number two. He just seems to have that look. And again, only 18 years old. And he will be fighting, scheduled to fight, January 28th. And we'll be back here. Here. Main venue. On the undercard of Francisco Vargas and also Takashi Miro will be on that card. Not against each other, mm. but they'll be there. And uh, look at the man. We, you, we know when you, you don't worry about your expensive suits yeah. when you come and take off the gloves. That means you can just wear your tie <laughs> and throw it away once, huh? Wear it once, throw it away. <laughs> so Joe Martinez. Three minutes, round number one. Referee Eddie Hernandez reaches the count of ten for your winner by KO victory, his third consecutive victory and third straight knockout win. He is still undefeated, Virgil Ortiz Jr. Grand Prairie Zone, Virgil Ortiz coming home for a week only. He's gonna be three and zero with three KOs. This is his freshman year of college. He's a kid to look out for, uh, but again, I don't want to crown him just yet in the vein of Dennis Green. You've got to see what he does against some real professional resistance, and can he go a few rounds, but based on what we've seen in what is his maiden journey as a professional prize fighter, he's certainly a young man to keep an eye out on. For Y'all get ready for the 